Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Desktop Distractions. I'm your host, the one, the only, The Eddie, and today we are uh, playing with the Final Fantasy IX Bring Arts action figures. Now this is a two-pack featuring Zidane and Garnett, two of the main characters from the game, right there. So Bring Arts, uh, yeah, Play Arts, but yeah, Bring Arts will be doing uh, these two-packs from here on out for the Final Fantasy IX figures. So here, as you can see on the box, there's Zidane on the back, Zidane and Garnett holding each other, some cool action poses. They got their full names right there. And the side of the box just gives you a little bit of a background on both of them real quick. You could pause it and read that if you want, look it up online. But yeah, let's unbox it, because it's got a whole lot of accessories to it. So this is gonna be a big episode. All right, so here is Zidane and Garnett out of the box. And as you can see, they come with tons of stuff. But before we go over their accessories, I'm just gonna quickly go over the articulation on this Bring Arts. Now, I don't know if you guys saw, but you can check out our video on the uh, uh, Bring Arts Sora that we did, the Halloween Town Sora. And uh, the articulation should be fairly similar. So here's Zidane standing up fairly straight right there um, yeah you know he looks left and right like normal uh, doesn't really look down all that much but he can see you kind of get him to look down as far as looking up goes yeah he does look up pretty pretty far I mean it's not gonna be like all the way up but I mean you could pretty much tell he's looking up that way um, aside from that his arms they do go like all the way up like so and all the way down and yeah that's the one thing I love about these bring arts is like the joints they use for all their parts like for for the elbow yeah you can do a little more than 90 degrees like so same with the other arm and then you know they rotate because they're all like on a peg so they do rotate. You can have them turn all the way around if you need to, like so. The cufflings, I think, are cool. Cause he's got these like, <laughs> not cufflings, but the, the cuffs right there around his wrist. They rotate all the way around. They're loose. Uh, they don't ride up his arms, so it's not gonna be annoying to look at. But yeah, they just rotate. So anyone posing him, I think that'll be, that'll be really useful. And they don't hinder the articulation of his, his wrist either. So these cuffs don't really get in the way of that. So you can get it to get his wrist to flex in whatever position you need it to, like so. And of course, same with the other hand. Once you find where that, there you go, which way that peg is facing, which way the joint's facing. Yeah, see, it's not, a, it's not hindering anything, which I think is a nice touch. Good job, Square Enix. Um, as far as torso goes, yeah, you can bend it back that far, and then you can crunch them, you know, forward all the way down there, like so. And as far as his legs go, can you do the splits? No, he's got these like thick thighs, <laughs> so not really. But he can kick out like that that much. And this one too, I think if you just line up the joint, you can get him to kick out the right or you can get him to kick out pretty far. You just gotta line it up right. And he kicks up like that high. That's pretty good, yeah. And back, go back that far. Um, you'll notice this little hole right here where his butt is. Now that's actually for his tail because the Dane does have a tail. <laughs> so you just plug that in. This looks totally wrong. <laughs> like sticking that <laughs> like oh yeah that does look kind of wrong but um yeah you just plug in the tail like so sorry Zidane I feel like I just violated him right there and you know it does have articulation you can rotate it and whatnot have it face whatever direction you want it to face in so I think that's a that's another nice touch from, there from uh, Square Enix Play Arts so he does have this little I guess you could say scabbard, holster, 
for this for his little blade here and it is removable too so it's not just decoration there are a lot of action figures that will have something like this and it's just deco you can't touch it but you can actually remove this i think that's a uh, awesome touch yeah see you could sheath that blade and it's on like this button right here too if you can get a good look at it it's on this little button so you can rotate it so that way it's not like in a fixed position where it'll like get in the way of your leg. You can actually rotate it, have them kick out further if you need to. Oh, wow. So that, that detail is just, just amazing. Yeah. And finishing up on the legs. Yeah, he does have these double jointed knees right there. You know, you can bend it pretty far. You fold his leg in half basically right there. That's pretty good. And as far as his feet go, uh, yeah, you can get him to point out his feet right there. There's a lot of, uh, yeah, there's a lot of pivoting going on in his ankle. I think that's pretty good. And his toe too, he has toe articulation right there. Well, it looks like there is. I don't know why I can't bend it though. Oh yeah, see, there. He has toe articulation, so you can pose his toes. I think that's amazing. Huh. Yeah, of course, on both feet. Duh. Yeah, see? So, that's Zidane. Now let's go over to Garnett. And Garnett's the same thing. Her arms go all the way up. As far as her head goes, um, she has long hair, so don't expect her to be able to look up too far. It is going to kind of get in the way. See, it just kind of, it, it just came off right there. Um, her ponytail right there has articulation too. It kind of bends down. So her hair is not always going to be fixed sticking out. It'll actually uh, fall down. Yeah. And again, she has those same types of joints for her elbows that Zidane has. So you can get her arm to pretty much fold in half. It will rotate too at that joint as well, which I think is cool. She has this loose necklace. Doesn't get in the way of anything though. Her hands using the same types of joints all their other Bring Arts figures are using. So you get a wide range of motion right there. It's cool, she can wave at you. Um, her torso, like Zidane's, you can kind of get her to bend down, not so much. She can bend back, look up, she needs to. It's all coming from her waist though, not her head, because her hair's in the way here. And as far as her legs go, yeah, they kick up that high, and they go that far out. She can do the splits, Zidane couldn't, because his thighs are too thick. <laughs> And yeah, same kind of knees that Dane has. I don't know if you consider that double jointed knees or what, but I mean, it's just the, the types of ball pegs and stuff that they're, you know, that Square Enix is using. They do bend pretty far though. So you just like that. And she doesn't have toe articulation like Zidane has, so you can't, you know, bend her toes. But she has a wide range in, in her ankle. So you can get her to point her toes out like so, which I think is pretty cool. I feel like today you couldn't really do that as much. So they made up for it with toe articulation. Bend it. Yeah, a lot of ankle pivot there. All right, let's get to the accessories. All right, so now I'm just gonna go over all their accessories as quickly as I can. There's a lot to go over. So first things first comes with an instruction manual. Shows you how to do all this stuff, how to swap it, what everything or everyone comes with and how to equip everything. But yeah, won't be needing that. <laughs> I'll just show you everything right off the bat. So here's the Dane as he is out of the box. But he does come with two interchangeable heads. As you can see here, one, he has like this, you know, pretty happy, content with his eyes closed. The other face is a little more fierce, like he's about to 
get ready to attack you, like so. And this one's just neutral, just eyes open, smiley face, it comes out of the box. I'm gonna show you how to swap out the heads real quick. Bam, just like that, see? It's on a single peg right there. It's not a ball in a socket that like pops in. It just easily slide it in like so. So you're just gonna pull that one off, grab the head you want. Like, uh, I don't know, I want this fierce head right there. Or it looks fierce. And you just pop that on, and that's how you swap that out. Um, up next, his tail. He has two tails that he comes with. This kind of, you know, uh, straight one. It's like kind of long out. And the one that's uh, curled right here. Has a bend to it. And I showed you how to equip it earlier. When he comes in the box, he doesn't have a tail equipped. So you just grab a tail, whatever one you want, and you just plug it in that hole that just happens to be <laughs> what his uh, butt is. So yeah, again, you just grab a tail you like, and you just plug it in there. Boop. Oh, damn, that feels wrong. <laughs> but you just plug it in there. That's it. Now, the cool thing about these Bring Arts figures, I didn't expect them to come with this many accessories, but they do come with a ton of accessories. Tons of hands. So the hands that come on Zidane right now, a fisted left and right hand, but as you can see here, Bring Arts or Square Enix gave us these really cool uh, stands to just plug our hands in. Right there, so we don't have these loose hands all over the place. I think that's a really nice touch, especially when you're displaying them, you can just have them like laid off to the side. I'm gonna show you quickly how to swap these out. But yeah, he just comes with these kind of open hands right there. These are some open hands, some grabby hands. I don't know if he's trying to grab with those. Um, and these, he's obviously for holding his sword right here. So I'm gonna pop these in. See again, just on a peg, single hole. They don't pop in and out. They just easily slide in and out like that. So you just pull those out, pull out the hands you want, and then uh, take that obviously same hand. And again, you just pull it out. There you go. Easily pull it off the peg, like so. And then you just swap it with the hand you want. See there. Now you can hold on to the sword. And I'm gonna do the same for this hand. I'm gonna pop that out. No. There you go. And then just pop it in. Easy peasy. No struggling. <laughs> Like I, like I do with some of the other figures that, you know, you gotta like pop it in there like really hard. Like, nah, you just easily just slide it in there. No problem. And then you're gonna take a weapon of choice. Speaking of weapons, he comes with, Zidane was known for using daggers in the game. I guess he's like that deep class, you know? So he had, uh, he has these pair of daggers right here. These are pretty. I love the detail on them too. Like these aren't painted on, like these are actual like, you know, sculpted on there. I think that's nice little, just all the detail on these uh, bring arts is, is amazing, everything. But yeah, he comes with this pair right here. And this, you just, you know, pop in his hand like so. Just like that. And this one as well. You just, you know, you could slide in there just like so. There, now he's got some weapons. But he does come with more weapons. I'm gonna show you those other ones, of course. So he comes with that pair of daggers. He comes with these pair of daggers right here. Bam. And you're probably wondering how do you get these on if they have these hilts at the bottom right here. So you can't just slide them into his open hand if these are in the way. So the technology that Square Enix has been using or Bring Arts is you just remove that bottom part that's on a peg. Like so, see? That way you can easily slide it in through the hand and then you close it up after. So I'll give you a demo of that right now just to show you how that's done in case you're confused. See, this bottom portion right here. You're just gonna pull that bottom part out, slide this through there. So now it's free to just go in and then you're just gonna close it up. Oh, well. You actually have to line up the shape to do it. <laughs> there you go. Like, like so. See? Done. That's how easy that was. Yeah. So here. 
He comes with one other weapon and it's this uh, double-sided blade right here. You know, Darth Maul style, right? I think that's pretty cool. So in case you're wondering how to equip this, oh, there you go. It just came apart like so. So you pull one blade off like that, exposes this open end and you know, the same style technology, right? You're able to just pull that through like so. See, and you can get his other hand to go There you go, if you rotate it right. You can get his other hand to hold this other end, like so. And then, yeah, you just plug in the blades after that. Oh. Did I guess wrong? Yeah, you gotta line up the shapes though. That's the, you know. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta line up the shapes. So it goes back to like, you know, when you were in preschool, matching the blocks through the, the little holes, right? Yeah. Uh, come on. There you go. <laughs> As I'm struggling with this. Oh, there you go. I was like looking at it wrong. See there. And that's how you equip that weapon on. For the day. See, like that. That's pretty cool. You get a, a lot of options as far as like hands, you know, the combination of hands and the combinations of weapons you want to equip him with. There's a lot going on there. All right, so now we're gonna go over Garnett's accessories and she actually comes with a lot as well. Maybe not as many hands, but she does come with a lot of different heads. And if you've played the game, you'll see why. So here's Garnett right out of the box. She just has her, you know, basic happy, well, semi-happy neutral face right there. Her long hair, again, her hair does have articulation. Here's how you swap it out. Just like Zidane's, you just pop it out. It's on a little peg. It doesn't pop in or anything. You just slide it out like so. Now, Zidane only comes with two other heads for a total of three, but Garnett comes with five other heads for a total of six. Reason why is she has three expressions with long hair, like so. So this is the one that comes on her head. Neutral, kind of happy. This one, she's like a little pissed. Like you just did something wrong. Like you forgot. And uh, now she's mad at you right here. Um, this one, her eyes are closed. She's kind of, yeah, you could put these in like a, I would use this for like a praying pose, like her signature praying pose. Like here, her eyes are closed, she's praying for something right there. So let's, you know, here's her fierce, fierce, <laughs> fierce look. And again, her the hair on all of these do have articulation, like so. So they do all bend, which I think is a nice touch. And again, if you're gonna swap one of these on here, you would just plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Like that. See? It doesn't pop in or anything, so you're not struggling to do it, you just pop it. So these are the first three heads that I'm showing you. The second three heads, if you've played the game, how, how old is this game now? Almost 20 years old, right? Something like that. Spoiler alert, she gets a haircut. Bam. So these expressions are, uh, the differences are a little subtle, but you gotta get a good, you gotta get a really close look at them. Like this, this one, I guess is her neutral face. Like she's just, you know, okay, content. Um, this one, she looks a little sad. Like she has a little sadness in her eyes. Yeah. And for this one, she's just straight up like kind of pissed. Like she's about to ask you for to see your manager. <laughs> like she's mad. And she even got that Karen hairstyle too. Look, her hair's short and everything, this one. Cause uh, Garnett got a haircut. So let's put on this, this fierce one right here. But yeah, again, you just plug it in. So for this head sculpt, since the hair's shorter, yeah, you can like bend it up a little bit, get her to look up higher, because I guess her long hair isn't getting in the way. And you can get her to look down, just like the other one. Yeah. So you just plug it in, just like that. Easy peasy. So let's get her heads aside. Uh, she comes with these many other hands. They're just four other ones. And this one is two hands together. 
in a praying position like that. She's just praying, it's her signature praying pose. So you can throw these on. Um, really quick, I'll show you how to swap some of these on. Here, let's go with these hold, yeah, these accessory holding hands right here. Just like Zidane, you saw that, you just pop that out, grab the hand you want, slide it in. Same with the other hand, bam. And then you take this one and you slide it in. Her weapon, she used rods. So she has two rods here. This one's cool. It's in the shape of a cat's paw. I think that's cute. <laughs> and this one's just another rod. Again, all of this stuff, this isn't like painted on or anything. These aren't just paint apps. They're like, you can actually feel like the ridges in there and stuff. Like everything here is sculpted straight up. I think that's a dope touch. So, to get these on, because the hands are completely closed, like this, you have to pull off the peg there, and then you could slide it in the hand you want to have her hold it in. And then again, you just got to match the shape right there. Uh, why am I bad at doing this? Oh, like so. There you go. And then you're all done. And that's how you get her to equip that weapon. Like so. And uh, the cat paw rod, no different. You just pull it out, separate it. See, and you can pull it back in. So if you pull it out, separate it. Then you can slide it into whatever hand you wanna have her hold it in. I.e. this hand, I don't know why this one isn't going, there you go, and then you just plug in the end, yeah, see, and that's how you'd, uh, equip these weapons. And that's it, those are all the accessories Garnett comes with. So she doesn't come with a million hands like Zidane does or like, you know, way more weapons or anything. She just comes with two rods. I mean, obviously you don't have her holding one rod at a time. So, you know, whatever. But this is what she would look like holding both of them. You know, really easy to equip. All right, dope. And that's it for all the accessories. So maybe I'm just a little biased because Final Fantasy IX is like my favorite Final Fantasy, or one of my favorite Final Fantasies of all time. But I absolutely love these figures and I love what Square Enix did with uh, this line of Bring Arts. I look forward to seeing the rest of them. Um, I mean, just the details on all of them, I mean, they look exactly like how I imagined them to look, you know, based off of their characters in the video games. Um, just everything about them I think is perfect. I mean, the paint detail, I mean, I don't have any issues or quarrels with that. I mean, the details on how they're, you know, the head sculpts and the faces look, everything is on point. I mean, the way you equip all the accessories, everything's just so creative. Um, and yeah, just even Zidane, like this whole, this whole little holster here with a knife, you know, and the sheath on the side, just being able to remove that knife. Like, it's the little things like that. Being able to do things like that in a figure that I, I just absolutely love. So yeah, if, if you're a Final Fantasy IX fan, then uh, I definitely highly recommend it. Although, just note, this is a two-pack you're paying for. So get ready to pay twice as much as you normally would for a Bring Arts. I mean, one Bring Arts is like 80 to 90 bucks by itself. Um, this whole thing was like 180 total. Oh, that's how much I paid for it. So yeah, but I, I don't know, totally worth it, definitely. <laughs> Just the detail alone on all of them, all the stuff that it comes with. I mean, I understand why it's, you know, cost that much now. It's because it comes with so much stuff. I mean, I didn't even show you the little stands. It comes with like these two clear plastic stands and you know, your standard little 
arms with the clips on them. I mean, but these figures stand pretty good on their own already. See, like that, no problem. Probably wouldn't even really need the stands unless you're having them like fly in the air or something, you know? Which I wouldn't really do anyways. But yeah, dang, so um, yeah, if you got the money for them, highly recommend it. I love these so much. I think the next few that are coming out, we got what, Vivi, Steiner, and then Freya, and Beatrix, or something like that. I think that's what's coming out next. So yeah, I mean, when those figures come out, I'll be doing unboxing of those, and you know, side-by-side -side comparisons and everything together. So yeah, uh, real quick, shout outs to Comic and Figure Addicts for special ordering me these figures. And don't forget to check us out at retrenders.com. Like, comment, subscribe leave comments, you know. Yeah, just hit us up. Let us know what you want to see us uh, unbox next. So yeah, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Desktop Distractions. You know where to find us. Peace.